Hi. <laughs> It's opening day of baseball season, and look what I just came up with. That's this, not a potato. No, but it's a signed baseball uh, from the Idaho Falls Russet Potato Team of 1989, and they all signed it, and we have the uniform from the Idaho Falls Russets and the whole thing in <gasps> we our collection. Do? Yeah, what oh else my. What else is, what going else on is today? happening? Well, what today is, is Monday, Thursday, and you know what that means. Maybe. The Last Supper. Yeah. Uh, Oops. Your finger just... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Staff. <laughs> the funny thing is, this wonderful sculpture, clay sculpture of The Last Supper, is set in Peru, or could be Arizona. That's Peru. Okay, Peru. But guess what? It... It depicts the Middle Eastern Last Supper, and there were no potatoes available. Bingo. But, of course, the Peruvians they would kinda, have depicted they a, a, put, a Last yeah. Supper, which would be In featured. In which the last potato was eaten <laughs> before you know. Um, we, uh, we, this is a little potpourri today, a, a little potpourri. different, different yeah. things. Uh, we ha Previously, we were talking about the... Uh, the hot potato, how we think that, I think that uh, Washington, D.C. should have a nickname. So uh, this is the nickname campaign for the hot potato. And one of the things was um, all of these hot potatoes were different at times. The headlines from different times and different presidencies. But you can see the variety of hot potatoes that people have had to handle in the hot potato Washington, D.C. And one of the hot potatoes is how are we feeding the people of Gaza, Right. Okay, well, here is a book that was written to support hunger relief in various parts of the world. And there's a poem in here by a famous New Mexican writer, which I shall now read, mm -hmm. because the poem is called La Papa. And we previously did a, a video about... You just languages. interrupted me. Excuse me. <laughs> I did. In Spanish, potato is... La Papa. As in Papa Fritas. Papas in a chili corn carne stew. Chili con carne. Chili stew. con carne stew. Yes, you did it in Italian accent. Okay, go ahead. Chili con carne. You know what that is? Yeah. Okay, it's what? It's chili with dead animals. It's stew, yeah. Papa Beans. is not papa, which is father, as in he who brings home the papas. The papas belong to mama, who care for... Ah, she's the one that has to... Uh-huh. And she's the one that has to do all this. Although, by the way, this is a very young woman. This was called the youngest potato peeler. And it was done by a Swiss artist named Albert Anker in about 1880. I think it's lovely. Yeah. But anyway, that's uh, not Mama. Okay. okay, back to Mama. The papas belong to Mama, who carefully peels one and rubs my childhood wart with the peel. Ew. Yes, that, the traditional was a removal of pork. Warts was to rub a bit. Okay, remember. Each day I meet her for the ritual in the kitchen, and day by day the wart disappears. The frog I picked up and carried for days in my pocket caused the wart, mm -hmm. my papa tells me. Don't pick up frogs. Now go peel the papas. <laughs> <laughs> Papiar or echar una papa is to snub one, someone. HR, HR. I don't know. Your Spanish is My Spanish uh, sucks because I never studied. You're a New Mexican Spanish. <laughs> I know French and Italian <laughs> and okay, Persian. Okay. Okay. Wrap it up, wrap it up. As in, your papa is as ugly as a papa. The lowly papa also stings. This is the way with words. Well, we never refer to it as the lowly papa or the lowly potato or humble. We always say it's the powerful, mighty, the mighty and powerful one. So we've been doing, we did a whole video on peelers. We'll do some more. Look here. You already showed that lady. I'm showing this side. Oh. This is beetle belly oh. and potato pancakes. Um, what else we got today? Oh, yeah. Look at this. We already went over the limit. Actually, they were saying that the best ideal... Oh. 